okay welcome to part two of one note now we are going to continue on the notebook that we have saved in part one so i'm going to go and open my documents when i click documents i remember i've saved under a folder called notes i open there then i find the folder Nkangala Tivet college because that is my notebook folder when I open it, I find all the sections saved as different files, as you see. So I want to open the whole notebook so that I see all these sections as appearing on one note. So I double click open notebook and then I see them now. As you see, they, they are appearing on just below my menu so now we are going to learn on how to create pages under every section let's say for instance under waterfall boven i want to create a page called hospitality so i will have to click waterfall boven first you see now it's pink so even on the side should be pink to show that i'm working under waterfall boven so i'm going to create a page if you see here it says add page and then there is untitled page so i right click here because already there's a page uh, for me to use and i rename it so i'm going to when i rename you see now there inside my page it shows the section where i have to write the name of the page so if i type hospitality and press enter it also appears there on the right hand side as you see where i add pages so the name of the page appears as the title of my notes and then it will also be written on the light on the right hand side uh, to show that i'm working under that page all right so if maybe we had few items to type under hospitality like um furniture then i have students maybe it's a list of things that i had to type then i type lecturers lessons maybe these are the things that i had to type as part of my notes something like that so you see this title that you see here it becomes the heading of the notes that you see below so your notes are appearing inside a small box which you can move to any position you want to move it to you see so if i want to move it down i have to hold there on the gray top area click and hold and drag and put it where you want to put it because you'll be seeing how your notes should appear then you create them the same way you see them because now there are many things that you can add as we are going to learn more you find that you're going to insert graphs pictures and so on under every uh, page that you are instructed to to add so if i'm going to add the second page still under waterfall boven i just go there where it says add page that plus sign and click it will still say untitled then i just right click and rename you will see that untitled appears where it is going to allow me to rename it as indicated so now this one i'm going to name it ncv for instance if i press enter it will take me below to add the nodes that are required so if i'm going to say ppe and then go and say nsfas maybe these are part of the notes that i have to add under my page and then maybe here i'll maybe they say our allowances something like that so remember when you move them you hold there you can move them to any area that you you are instructed to do so so if we had to add notes again under with bank you go and change the section to be in with bank now you will realize i don't have those pages anymore because those pages that i was creating they are under waterfall boven we can check 
you see they are under Vatra Falbove. But if I go to Weedbank, I don't have pages. So this is what I mean when I say every section will contain a page as I've indicated during part one. So here I can add a page and rename this one and then I'm going to name it tourism tourism when I press enter it needs me to type the notes maybe I say transport and accommodation maybe these are the notes that I was supposed to type so now you see that uh, if I go to another tab like CN Matlangu I don't have pages so I can head add more pages like we have learned in when we were adding pages under waterfall and also when we added pages under with bank right so thank you for watching this is how you add pages so when we go to part 3 that is when you are going to learn on how to add more content like creating graphs on your pages, inserting pictures and uh, obviously when you insert a graph it will need you to use Microsoft Excel which will open automatically uh, when you go to the menu strip there and then you open other things that you can insert so we are going to learn that in part 3 thank you for watching now you know how to insert pages under sections enjoy mm -hmm.